Pebble on Monday released a software update to its Pebble Time lineup of smartwatches Pebble Time, Pebble Time Steel and Pebble Time Round. Version 3.7 adds the ability for some Pebble Time owners to reply to text messages via voice, directly from the watch. The feature up until now has been something only Apple Watch owners could take advantage of. The feature has a healthy list of caveats, so let's get those out of the way. Only AT&T wireless users on a postpay plan are eligible. All messages sent from the watch are sent as a text message, even if the recipient uses iMessage. Messages sent using your parallel time will not appear in your text message thread more on why in a minute. Group message threads are not supported. You can read the fact page for iOS voice replies on Pebble's support page for more information, and a few more caveats. If you're still interested in using voice replies with your Tiffany and Pebble Time Watch, let's continue. To begin, install the latest firmware for your Pebble Time Watch. You should be prompted to install it the next time you open the Pebble Time APP. However, you can check for an update in support by tapping on Update Your Pebble. After the firmware update, slide out the menu drawer and tap on Settings. Tap on Text Replies Sneak Peek. After selecting Continue, the APP will ask you to accept Pebble's terms and conditions along with provide the APP access to your contacts required for Pebble to send a message on your behalf. Apple doesn't allow third-party applications to send messages without a user physically pressing the Send button in the Messages APP on an iOS device. In order for Pebble to send a message, the company is connecting the Pebble APP directly to your phone number via that and TS system. The next few screens are asking you to give Pebble permission to send text messages using your phone number.